So according to my research, a lot of Moors teach on um, the Oversoul being a form of a perimeter or some form of a barrier that when crossed can lead to traveling through time. According to scientists, this perimeter will only allow you to, tra to travel to the past. However, according to my research, the past is the future. That's right, the past is the future because time is a circle. And encapsulated in that circle is a square. So the finite aspect of time or the barrier or the perimeter or what you call the oversoul, what I call it the oversoul actually is what I call it, is the blockage that's stopping us from getting to the point where we can move through time. And I'm bringing this up because if we are to evolve to our fullest point or our fullest potential, we're gonna to have to learn how to break the barrier of time. And we're gonna to have to learn how to master a certain type of shape that I'm gonna get into. And once we master this shape, I'm gonna get into on the next episode. We can now go past the laws that govern time. So what I'm gonna do is, is that I'll come back up shortly on another episode in the future. In that episode in the future, I'll um, go into the shape that we must master to undo or uncross the spell that's really based on time and money. And I'm bringing this up because you can't really get into like deep manifestations and really attracting and things of that nature unless you fully understand science. You may attract some dollars and things of that nature, but I'm talking about to fully attract what you want on this reality, to fully manifest what you want, you have to master time and money and figure out how they operate and work together. And in that, that'll lead you into astrology. So eventually, once I get up to like the number 30 and 40, we're going to start going into deeper astrology lessons. But I'll come back up with uh, some pictures and proof on this perimeter that I'm speaking on and I'll go into a little bit of more information on the Oversoul. So as always, thank you guys for listening and watching. Uh, have a great day. Have a good morning. Namaste.